Howdy everybody, Big Fatty Plus here, and welcome back to the Big Man Plays, the final episode of Hector, Badge of Carnage. Mama, I went a little for a second there. We last left off, we confronted Barnsley, who wants to ruin Clapper's Reek because he hates the place. And in the ruins of Clapper's Reek, he wants to re remake it as Claptopia. Basically get rid of all the mean people. Actually get rid of everybody in Clapper's Reek. Completely. Now, I need to stop him, but I need something to interfere with his little dead man switch, which is probably inside this lock. Unfortunately, this bumper won't get me in. If I leave Barnsley's long gone, I'm sticking around to see this one through. Oh, okay. Let me see here. Uh... Last I saw, this closet was loaded with random and useless items. Let's hope that's still true. Mm, strong little bugger. Okay, let me see. How do we... Yes, get hands. I can't use Lambert because Lambert's currently in dispose. If I leave, Barnes will get away. Oh, I have to melt something. Let's see here. No! The triple distilled gel ignite has been unleashed. It will devour the old town. Man, uh, use the busted distillery. Oh, I ain't touching that with me bare hands. I like me fingers too much. Uh... Well, those things together, not bloody lightly. I wonder... Always meant to come back here with Murder Most Moist Eleven. Now we'll never know the true joy of moving pictures. Always meant to... Hmm. There's gotta be something here I could... If I leave Barnsley... If I leave Barnsley's long gone, I'm sticking around to see I really this one hope through. that I didn't soft lock myself here. Oh. There's the old clocksmith's moonshine jug. Ugh, empty, that old lush. Yeah, Excuse me, I have to go. Somewhere there is a crime happening. Okay, so, yes. Uh, okay, if we just, uh... Hmm. Oh, there's still some left. Or... One. One drop? Hmm. I was hoping for the ultimate Molotov cocktail to bung up his device. Still, drunkards can't be choosers. Best to save it for something small. Small like a lock? Oh, good lord. How that Sometimes man even drink Sometimes a drip it? is all you need. Imagine what this could do for the chrome on me caravan. Now, let's see if there's anything useful in it. Oh, God, it's him! God, him. Preservation society. I'll rip the Borco bloody smile from his Borco bloody Borco face. I'll... Oh, hello. It's you. Yes. No, nothing useful in it. What are you talking about? He's very useful! How did an old battle-hardened chap like yourself get overpowered by a weak little turd in rainbow braces? Oh, it don't take much to push a guy into a closet if he don't have no legs. Besides, he told me he wanted to see me medals. Nobody ever asks me about me medals. Should have been your first clue he was up to something. Right. On your feet, soldier. On your feet, soldier. Hey, what? Couple of flack, sir! Sir, with all due respect, sir, I am standing at as full attention as I am capable, sir! Oh, wait, it's just you. <laughs> Excuse me while I sit back down in disrespect. There's a crazed terrorist up in your clock about to unleash hell upon the town. Serves them bloody right, I say. Call me when the smoke clears. You fool. Get the door on your way out. Quit your belly aching and get up those stairs all right the Right now! Stairs? Ha! Have you taken a look at me lately? With your good eye? Last time I did bloody stairs, I was being pushed by Winston Churchill. Forcefully and down, I reckon. Yes. If you don't do stairs, how'd you get up there to fix the clock? Same way I always do. Oh, that's... <laughs> Which is how, exactly? Oh, right. Uh, there's a dumb waiter behind the distillery. Oh, oh, oh. Dumb waiter? Where does it go? Opens out onto the roof. From there, I take the platform down and get in through window to clock face. Perfect. I can get onto the roof and then when that smug son of a... I don't mean to ruin your climax, but the dumb waiter only seats one, and that's me. 
Why can't I? Other than my weight. Why can't or I go in weight? the dumb waiter? Because I rigged it in such a way that if anyone doesn't match my weight and size, he's allowed to get within six feet of the top, it plummets, killing whoever's inside. Why Perfect. would you do that? Why else, bloody bark or spies? Look, you old codger, it's time to stand up for what you believe in. Is that another crack at me wheelchair? Of course not, I meant metaphorically stand up. Then you can metaphorically piss up a flagpole, has it? Come on, oh, help boy. me. You'll get your self-respect back. No, we won't. Self-respect? Don't talk to me about self-respect. You're the one standing there in his underpants. No, I'm not. What the hell are you talking about? I'm fully dressed. Eh? Oh, sorry. Can't really see out of my left eye. Mm. You help me take this guy down and I promise you a soldier's death. Okay, I'm in. Oh, yeah, work. I'm not leaving until you help me. Piss off! Where's me blimmin' shotgun? Good question. Where is your blimmin' shotgun? Oh, right, there was a blockage in the distillery. Only thing I had long enough to waggle it out was me shotgun. Melted the shells and kablew it! Ears ringing like nam all over again. Uh, or was it Gallipoli? Oh, they all run together now. Barely hear you in your right bleeding in front of me. Uh... I need your help to unfix this clock. You what? It's only been running for a bleeding day. Have you got any weapons other than the shotgun you wasted? Have you got any weapons in this place? Okay, after losing the shotgun, all I got left are my wits. So we're unarmed then? Not pretty much. Uh, what, what, yeah, what was that? What was that noise in your head? What's this? Yeah, just another one of me old war stories. You don't want to hear it, I don't expect. Can you cut to the chase? <laughs> Does it involve you getting injured? If so, then yes. All right, then. It were night. Surrounded on all sides, including above and below. How? Explosions coming from all directions. I was in the larder, trying to put together late supper for 800 injured soldiers. They called me Cookie. No time for imagination back then. Is this going to be a long one? Then suddenly, bang! Bloody Borko shot right through the hole. Non-perishables flying everywhere. Nowhere to hide. No escape. Tin of chicken Vienna sausage is lodged in me head. Still oh. there to this very day. Oh. Well, I'm surprised they didn't make a movie of that. Jerry Borkheim is working on it as we speak. No, he's not. Can, can I see the tin? Can I see the tin? Oh, 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 boy, oh, it's a gruesome sight for little eyes such as yours. I dare you to look upon this. <laughs> well, that's an actual bomb. Um, who told you it was a tin of sausages? Ha, doctors told me not to worry too much about it. Why? Because it ain't a tin of sausages. Eh? It's an unexploded bomb. <laughs> you what? <laughs> you what? Of course, I told you not to worry because they figured you'd be dead in an hour. It explains why they put me in a ward by myself. <laughs> it's a bomb! He's got a bomb in his head and he's been taking. Oh my god, can you see the bomb? Can I see the bomb in your head again? Oh, if you don't mind, can we keep calling it the tin of sausages? Hey, your tin. Neat. Okay. Sit tight. I always do. I lost my lower intestine in war. Okay. Let's see that bomb in your head again. Let's see if we can fry right. that out. Now, hold still. This might pinch a bit. Oh! Oh! Well, I can see your brain. What happens when I do this? <laughs> Well, see your leg just then. That weren't my leg. <laughs> <laughs> that weren't my leg. <laughs> oh my, that wasn't this. Okay, we got a bomb now. It's an unexploded bomb from Lord knows what war. Yeah, okay. Oh. Nice and easy. 
Yeah, I wouldn't be too worried about nice and easy. Fallen on me head more times than you've had hot ladies. So, four times then. Oh, really? No, I had you down for less than that. Well, regardless of your definition of hot, I wouldn't be too ginger with that thing. Around this long, should take one hell of a wallop to set that bugger off. I'll keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. It's an unexploded bomb from the Blitz with a few skull fragments embedded. An almighty wallop should set this sucker off. Mm hmm. Let's see here. Uh... The old fella must still be up on the roof. Sorry, Lardo. No can do. That dumb waiter's built specifically to house one lithe warrior and his stealth transport unit. You mean, a brittle skeleton wrapped in a flaking husk of skin in his rusty wheelchair? Yes. You want my help or not? Stealthy warrior. Got it. Okay. How did an old battle-hardened chap like yourself... Oh, okay. Dog, beside... Should have been your first... Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Old Clappy hasn't looked this shiny since the Blitz. If I get any closer, Barnsley will set off the device. Okay, I've got to. Okay, I got to figure out this. Okay. That looks like the perfect place to deliver an almighty bang, but I need to make sure Barnsley is distracted first. Okay. Tosser, tosser, tosser. Would you mind explaining a few more things before I die? Of course, I love going on at length about my own brilliance. Okay, just yeah, yeah. Exploit his his enjoyment of hearing his own uh, his own self speak. What was the exact? Oh, uh, Hector, are you prof? No. Let's see. Uh, well, this actually. Ah, oh, what the? Bold bags. What have I done? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, town went ugly on you. Look, we did all this back at the bill. Oh, yes, right, we did. I'll skip ahead to college. As the town was... I okay, okay. Sort of his... I graduated with all... Uh, it's not... Okay, if so this is not the way to... I need to do it. Uh -huh. I have worth. If only they'd listen. The town got worse. The avalanche effect. Crime, corruption, sin. We've already gone over this. Except... Digging until you get so low you emerge out the bot. I'll stall. F okay. I've got this place surrounded. Please, Hector, you're not that fat. Why are I all now? Come with me if you want to live. I was going to say the same to you, and then I thought about how little I wanted to spend the last days of Clapper's Reek with only you for company. So I just kept my mouth shut. <laughs> of all the tosses in the world, I had to run into you. But Hector, you didn't just run into me. I engineered our meeting from the beginning. Remind me to thank you properly later. Better do it now. Doubt you'll be alive later to do it properly. How? He's, he's here. He doesn't have a badge on. It's fine. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Is that an actual threat or a random hackneyed catchphrase that you're just supposed to say in situations like this? I don't your know. move, creep. I'll buy that for a dollar. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> oh. Can I please have that detonator? Of course not. I said please, that was really hard for me. Oh wow, Hector, you've taught me that even you can learn from your mistakes and find politeness inside. So can I have the detonator? No. No. Toss bag. <laughs> okay, I've got to find some way to distract him. Busy, I won't keep you any longer. So that's what he needed the pawn shop demolished for, and it all comes together. I've already got one that big. Well, not if I. I need. Okay, I. I think I'll let my car run him. I okay. Uh, you. Okay. Okay, I've got a plan. Right, you bring that bomb with you and take the stairs. I'll take Dumbwaiter to the roof. When you shout the code word, I'll distract him from outside. 
Once he's looking out the window for me, you place the bomb somewhere in the machinery where it's likely to receive a god-awful huge wallop. Then we wheel like wildfire out of there and watch the fireworks from a good distance away. Be just like Khrushchev's beach house all over again. Oh boy. That's, that's, that's all we need a code word, That's a pretty good plan, so all we need is a code word. I'll get him chatting and in mid-conversation I'll slip in a simple word like... Avocado. Avocado? Okay. We're fine at Khrushchev's speech house. No reason it won't work now. Uh, 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 avocado? Avocado? Yep. Seriously. Yep. Can we choose Can a different... Can we choose a different code word? No. Nope. My plan. My word. Oh, okay. Let's do this. If we need to regroup, just knock twice on the distillery and I'll pop back down. It's been an honor serving with you. I'd like to say the same, but you're no corporal flack. Well, how do you do to you too? Schmuck. Okay, let's go upstairs and let's, uh... Oh, Brill, that old coot actually came through. Okay. Chester. In this light, your nose looks rather like an avocado. In this light, your hair looks rather like a fecal starfish. It didn't work. It... Tosser. T Tosser. All right, uh, avocado face. You're finished in this town. On the contrary, I've barely begun in this town. Uh, melon head. Um. Um. Buddy! Your plan has more holes than a worm-eaten avocado, but still less than your shirt. You should see my underpants. I have. How do you think I got you into that hospital gown? Oh, You're God. You're dumber than a myopic Mexican heavy artillery engineer. What does that mean? Well, you see, being nearsighted, one might mistake a box of grenades for... Ah, oh, forget it. Sometimes I wonder about you. Hey, you know what? Avocado. What's that? Uh, nothing. Avocado. It's not working. What the devil are you on about? What the hell is that bloody clock keeper doing? Bloody hell. Avocado. Eh? Nothing. I better talk to him downstairs. Seen our old farts forgotten the code word. <sighs> Where is that deaf bloody goatard? Avocado? Bloody hell. Well, it's a good thing I waited. This would have taken longer. Sir? What the hell? I must have said avocado 50 bleeding times. You said no such thing. I did. I wasn't even subtle about it. Oh, blast. Blimmin' ears still ringing like Bastille Day. I can only hear you when you stand right in front of me. Can you hear anything up there? I could hear him talking just fine. Must be your gravelly lower register voice. Terrorist sings like a blimmin' Vietnamese peasant girl, loud and clear. Oh, we gotta make him say... Avocado? Yep. Seriously? Yep. We gotta make him say avocado. Right. We need a new plane. You pulling rank on me, young book? I don't think so. The plan stays. But you can't hear me. Yeah, but I can hear him. All you need to do is get him to casually slip the word avocado into conversation. <laughs> God! Your plan is absurd and you know it. Your plan is absurd and you know it. Hey, yeah, suck it up, buttercup. I'm going to kick you. Oh Remember God. the avocado! How could I possibly forget something so abysmally stupid? I've got to get the idiot to say avocado. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm back again, Barnes. Like, yeah, this is, this is, I knew this was going to be. That's not going to work. 
Knock, knock. Who's there? Avo. Avo who? Avocado. Ha. Ball bags, that didn't work. No, okay, didn't. wait. This time you start. I don't have time for your nonsensical games. Let's play a game. When I say, oh my oh, god, you say, Vicardo. What are you on about? Uh, please, Hector, you're not making any sense. <laughs> that, that's the idea. Listen, you can help settle a bit between me and a guy at work. Is guacamole made from pistachios? What? Do I look like Wikipedia? A little around the eyes. Before I die, I'd like to make one last request. Oh, I suppose I owe you that much. What is it then? I'd just like to hear you say one thing before you plunge the town into chaos and dismemberment, and that's... Avocado. 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 That's the one thing in the world you want me to say? Yes. yes. Out of all the words in the entire world? Yes. yes. You want me to say... Yes, bloody yes. Say it. Avocado? Thank oh, you! Uh, thank God! Uh, what in the blue blazes is that? How could you miss that yes, guy in the please. first place? Oh, come on. If I want to give this thing an almighty wallop, I should probably use the big one. Oh, how could you, How could you miss him in the beginning anyway? Sorry. Distracted there for a moment. You were saying something about an avocado? Uh, no, I wasn't. Yes, you certainly were. You kept yelling avocado over and over. Um, I... Avocado, 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 <laughs> you kept saying. What that old man's gonna plummet. That old man... <laughs> oh no! Oh god! We need to go right now. A bit, yeah. Oh god, we need to move right like now. We need to go. Uh, hell will erupt through the streets of Clapper's Creek. Civil disobedience will be uncontainable. Let the rehabilitation of Claptopia begin. <laughs> Run! Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Boom! Hector! You made it! Hector, our precious and expensive town clock, what have you done? What have I done? I've just gone and saved the bleeding town from a bioterrorist plot, that's what I've done. There's your terrorist, Barnsley Noble, fine upstanding member of society, last officer of the tourism board, founder of the Clappers Reek Preservation Society and all-round arse barnacle. I don't mean to be rude, but am I allowed a phone call? <laughs> a phone call? You'll be lucky if I let you keep your tongue. Oh, Hector, it's just a phone call. You idiot. Hello? Yes, it's Barnsley. Release it now. Toodaloo. All done. You see, Hector. No harm. Attention, everybody. To lighten the mood after the recent destruction of the clock tower, I've just been given the nod to spring one last surprise on you, Adam. Oh, God. Here it is. Oh, God. Oh, that's what the hell. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, Hector. I personally would prefer to deliver my own brand of chaos in a single serving sachet, but you forced my hand. What have you done? There's enough arsenal in there to gas the entire town five times over. <laughs> and it's a bounce house! God freaking dang it! The amount of carnage a badge that size will cause. Yeah, one might even call it a badge of Carnage. It's like it's been planned all along. My god, is that kids on there? Make sure they take their shoes off. We're not done? We're not done? I have a sinking feeling that things could get rather nasty, what with a terrorist in our midst. So, if you require a sound bite, I'll be holed up in my office with the door locked. Good day. But you've been sitting next to a murderer all morning. 
Yes, but look at him. If there were any way he could ever escape, do you think I would have brought him along? Why, trussed up like this, he looks almost cute. Anywho, Napu. Guess that leaves you, Lambert. I've got to deal with this bouncy badger of butchery, so I'm leaving this monster in your custody. This man is a danger to the community. Do not let him out of your sight. Sure thing, boss. Do not listen to anything this monster says. Got it. You're to tell him nothing personal, or he'll try to use it against you. Okie doke. I mean it. Don't even tell him what hand you want your ass with. Believe me, you do not want Barnsley Noble inside your head. I was fine before, now I'm crapping myself. <sighs> issue number one. I thought this was the end, but it, apparently there's still more. But issue number one. You have him handcuffed to a plastic chair. The man can get up and run at this very instant, carrying the chair. Number two, you're leaving him in the care of Lambert. I wouldn't leave a tissue in the care of Lambert. So, we have Barnes and Noble technically in custody. Our police chief has run off to hide because he's a coward. And there is a bounce house full of, ar of arsenal. That uh, will pop and turn everyone in the town into monsters. Are we going to be able to save the town? Is Lambert going to let Barnsley get away? Of course he is. Why wouldn't he? Find out as my chair hits the table with the desk next time on. I'm not even going to say if it's the last episode. I don't even know. The big man plays Hector. Badge of Carnage. Until then, it's Big Fatty Plus Cyanar, and oh boy. It seems... Barnsley has thought of everything. Everything possible to get his plan in motion. Let's just hope he hasn't thought of the complete idiocy of Hector and Lambert to screw up his plans and ruin the day for him and save the day for everyone else. Though, more than likely... He's already thought of that too. <laughs>